you so much to Joseph Chandler for the five US dollar super chat. Wonderful chap. All of them. Yo, I don't know if you've or if you've said already, but what's your opinion on the Doctor Who Magic the Gathering set? I have not actually seen anything like that. Let's take a look. Magic the Gathering's new Doctor Who sets will cover all of time and space. Here's a article from Gizmodo. 200 new cards across four commander decks will bring the BBC icon to the Magic table later this year. Um, celebrate 60 years of Doctor Who. Wizards of the Coast revealed a first look at the Doctor Who set and its structure. Built around 450 card commander format pre-built. You see, this means nothing to me. I don't know what commander format is. I do not play Magic the Gathering at all. If it's not Yu-Gi-Oh, I don't care. Let's have a look. That's a co it's cool artwork, though. A commander deck contains the first eight Doctors, Blast from the Past. <laughs> Would you like a jelly, baby? We've got Sarah Jane Smith there in Time Warrior garb. New mechanic, Doctor's Companion. You can have two commanders if the other is the Doctor. I assume that's good. Tenth Doctor and Rose contains Doctors 9, 10, and 11 in a box set called Timey Wimey. Now, this looks AI generated. I can tell it's not because they're the appropriate amount of fingers on the hand. But there's something about the face. Maybe it's the shading. But here's Tenth Doctor in the library in Forest of the Dead about to jump down that portal thing. Here we go. Commander deck con contains Doctors 12 and 13 in Paradox Power. Now, <laughs> I, <laughs> I love how... One second, let's go back. I love how... These other poses with the fourth doctor with the hat and the screwdriver. And you've got the tenth doctor, screwdriver in hand, pulling a big pose. These look epic and strong and stoic and defiant stances. What's the thirteenth doctor got? Doi! Oh god. It's so in keeping though. This is not an out of character shot. <laughs> 13 has the same energy as me working with the GIMP. I don't know what GIMP is, but I assume it's funny. Um, and you've also got the Commander deck, which contains the Doctor's greatest villains. Missy. Uh, oh, it doesn't have the greatest villains, because it's got the shit version of the Cybermen. Oh, that's not good. Davros here as well, with Daleks. These look really cool. Plains, Island, Swamp, Mountain and Forest, and the TARDIS is in all of these locations. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That bad wolf artwork. I want that as like a phone background. I didn't even notice that Rose was in the at the top of the shot. I just thought this was a really cool flame pattern. But, oh, that looks really cool. That's like a phone back. Who Who is the artist? Who is responsible for this? Um, S Sid Mills. One second. Sid Mills. Sid Mills has got an Instagram account. Pronouns she, they, he. Just looking at their, at their Instagram now. This is awesome stuff. But yeah, this. Like, not to be rude about it. But this artwork fucks. This is so cool. Sid's done a fantastic job here. That is one of the coolest... Genuinely, that's just one of the coolest bits of artwork I've ever seen related to Doctor Who. Anyway, right. The Lux Foundation Library. Uh, players have no maximum hand size. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. Booster set. Okay, this is this is still pretty cool. I need to... Yeah. Okay, right. I have no interest in Magic the Gathering. I don't know how to play the game. But genuinely, if these come in, like, box sets that I could unpack, booster sets, when do these come out? I might actually pick some of these up and maybe do an unboxing or something. These look so cool. This is the Magic the Gathering website, Universes Beyond, Doctor Every Doctor, Every Dimension, release date October 13th. Timey Wimey, Masters of Evil, Blast from the Past, Paradox Power, Collector Boosters and Booster Display, Commander Deck Bundle. How much is the bundle? With all Doctor Who themed Commander decks, each ready to play 100 card deck introduces 50 new cards and Doctor Who themed art and mechanics. They're so popular, they're tem tem temporarily out of stock on Amazon. Really? 
Blimey, Magic the Gathering went to woke and instantly sold out all of their decks. Uh, Magic Gathering Doctor Who. Let's go on Amazon. Nope. It, oh, here we go. Um, Doctor Who Commander deck, Paradox Power, thirty-eight pounds, hundred card deck two. But so, but this is just for the twelve and thirteen set. I might need to look into this proper, but maybe this final gets me into magic. Like, if if there's like a way to get a box set or a deck or something that contains all of the cards, I might just get it just to have them. And maybe, like, find a really cool way to frame them. What my brother used to do... My brother used to go and see gigs and concerts all the time. Real big music guy. Um, what he did is that he would get a glass frame. And he would put all of his tickets and all of his uh, ticket stubs and everything underneath the glass frame and put it on his wall. As, like, a memento to all the gigs and concerts he went to. I could do something similar to that. But for the Magic the Gathering Doctor Who cards... <laughs> <laughs> these just look really cool i have no like knowledge of magic the gathering but if this is like a ready-made deck it just happens to be doctor who themed that could be really cool that could actually genuinely get quite a few people into doctor who i would just be the filthy casual who would go to a magic the gathering tournament with a pre-made doctor who deck and get wiped out it, i imagine it's the equivalent of going to a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament with the yugi and or kaiba structure deck <laughs> I imagine it's that equivalent. Malik Handrace. Okay, thank you, Malik. I, I, what do I need to get? To get all of these things? I, Commander Deck Bundle. Join your favourite Doctor and their companion or side with the Doctor's Grey Foes with all four Doctor Who themed Commander Decks. Each ready to play 100 card deck. In so, is, like, is this all of them? Would I get all of them? Or are these like booster packs? What's the difference between... <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm aware I'm asking possibly big questions or maybe the dumbest questions what are the differences between these collector boosters and the deck bundle it's all of them the deck bundle is all of them yeah how do i get this how do i get all of this and hopefully spend no more than 40 or 50 pounds i found a listing for all four of them for 180 dollars that's a that's a bit much i go to a semi-local comic shop with my partners hoping to pre-order yeah if i could go to like a local place in manchester and be like i i want to pre-order all of these and just give them 40 pounds and accept <laughs> and I, I'm not, nothing nothing more nothing less i will give you nothing else um so yeah how much yeah how much are these can i not just go onto like the magic the gathering website and at least get an rrp i know that magic the gathering have recently done some like lord of the Rings stuff but these are new stories um on google from the past between two hours ago and two days ago so this is still quite recent news all right so i've gone on to um american amazon and the decks separately are 50 dollars. so 50 dollars 29 cents so we're looking at like 40 to 45 pounds per deck i i don't as someone who knows nothing about magic the gathering i genuinely cannot justify spending a hundred and 60 ish pounds 150 160 pounds on a game i will probably never ever play because i doubt that they would release just pre-made decks that are competitively viable joseph chandler thank you for bringing that magic the gathering set to my attention it is something that i will watch with great interest As yeah but like i said those artworks are so cool they uh yeah that they look really really cool i have no idea if i'll play them or not uh, or if I get this, if someone wants to spend one hundred and fifty pounds, one hundred and sixty pounds for me and buy them for me, I will not say no.